Hi, babe, and welcome to your everyday core and ab Pilates home sculpt workout. This workout is going to feel amazing because we're gonna get deep into your core. You don't need any equipment at all. Just follow along, so let's get to it. If you are new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel to let me know that you liked this video and you want to see more like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on our backs. Place your hand behind your head and tap your toes to the floor. I'm squeezing my knees and ankles tightly together and the goal here is to not let the torso move too much at all. You really want to keep the torso really nice and solid. My elbows are to the side so I can still see them in my peripheral, but they're pretty wide. Don't let the elbows come close into your face. Good. And we're just tapping and lifting, tapping and lifting. Good. Try to keep your body as still as possible. Awesome. This is a great warm up. getting deep into the core. Really focus on that connection, the mind body connection with the belly button to spine. Great. Now we're going to take the knees all the way in and all the way out. So pull the knees all the way into a little ball and you're gonna reach the arms and legs all the way out. In and reach, beautiful. Squeeze everything in nice and tight. Try to bring your head all the way up to your knees and in, good. So you're squeezing those inner thighs together, squeezing your ankles together. Keep going, reach and circle those arms around. Reach, circle around, tight little ball. Inhale in, exhale as you come into that tight little ball. Inhale in. Exhale, tight little ball. Good. Keep focusing on that lower core, pulling navel into spine. Beautiful work. Keep going. In nice and tight. Reach. In nice and tight. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Keep going. All right. Last one. And come on up. Place the hands behind you so your fingertips are facing towards your booty. And extend the legs out and in out and in good so you want to keep the chest high so the tendency is to kind of sink make sure that you're lifting the chest up reach in reach and continue to squeeze the inner thighs together squeeze the ankles together like you're holding a hundred dollar bill between your ankles good in and out nice don't let those shoulders round too much so keep lifting the chest up keep extending through the spine lower belly presses in towards your spine good reach and in nice all right lift those legs we're gonna take a big circle with the legs keeping the legs really really straight if you need to bend them slightly that's okay good we're going in one direction right now and then we'll switch so big circle down and all the way up circle to your left like you're drawing a big circle with your toes good let's go to the other direction try to keep those legs all the way together it's pretty difficult. I can feel my abs a lot here in this one and sometimes I get stuck. All right, good, keep going, keep going. Nice, big, big, big circles with those toes and try to lift that chest up. All right, now let's come on to our backs and we're gonna lift the one leg up and then switch and then switch. So my shoulders are up off of the ground and I'm just pulsing my leg in towards my chest. Now, if you're having a little bit of tightness in the legs, you can bend the knees slightly, but the goal is to keep the shoulders up off of the mat the whole time. Extend long through the toes, so point your toes by engaging the quads. Beautiful, get deep into those core muscles by pressing the lower belly into the back and switch and switch. You're doing beautiful work here. So this is non-stop work here in this video, which does add that extra challenge. Okay, now we're gonna add a twist and twist. So I'm just clasping my hands and then I'm taking them to the outside of my leg, trying to bring my shoulders up off of the mat as much as I possibly can. And switch and switch and switch and switch. Keep the movement of the legs and we're just switching up with the arms, getting into more of the obliques here as we continue to switch. See if you can get those shoulders up off of the mat even a little bit higher. There you go. All right, and take a little breather here as we move into our next position. So come down onto your forearms, extend the legs out long so we come into a forearm plank. Hold here, 
Beautiful. Find your forearm plank. Pull your navel in towards your spine. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Squeeze the ankles together. Engage the quads. Beautiful. Now focus on the elbows and press away from the floor. Good. As you notice, my forearms are parallel to one another. So if your hands are together, go ahead and spread them apart so your forearms are like railroad tracks. Beautiful. Now keep checking in with your body, creating that mind-body connection, being aware of where you are in space. Nice. Have that connection. Pull the belly button back up into the spine if it dipped out at all. You can do this. And if at all you need to take a break or modify, just go ahead and put the knees down and keep going on your knees. Beautiful. Now check in again. Keep pressing into the floor with those elbows. Keep pushing away so that you don't sink down into the shoulders. Beautiful. All right. And come on down. Great, great, great work. I'm just going to come into the Sphinx pose here and then press the hands into the floor. Lift the chest up for a nice little reverse action. Beautiful. Let's move into our next move now. We're going to go back into our forearm plank and we're going to do hip dips. So I'm lifting my hips up and over to the side. Right and left and right and left just go ahead and find your own rhythm here and good we're swiveling down up and down and up the most important thing here is to really keep the form in the upper body so if you notice my shoulders are still staying in the same place and you got to squeeze those inner thighs together you got to squeeze the legs together feel those obliques working like crazy and you're also going to feel those shoulders and arms work a lot too beautiful okay now come all the way up onto your hands and pull the knee in towards your forehead in and step back in and step back beautiful so you want to kiss your knee like I like to say kiss your knee say hello knee pull it in and out good and I'm pressing the floor away so I'm slightly doming in the upper back as I pull in and back beautiful put those knees down and let's move into our next position Place the feet down on the ground and then lower your back all the way down and we're going to roll up to the top, lower all the way down. Now this looks like a very classic ab crunch, but I want you to focus on the rolling down in particular. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow and steady with control. So control every single motion. It is pretty difficult. Try to keep your feet down on the floor as much as you can and feel like you're moving through honey. So make this smooth and easy and effortless, even though I know you're working really hard. Keep going, lowering down and rolling up. That's it. Reach your arms forward. Beautiful. Okay, let's move into our next exercise now. Lift the legs up over and we're going to squeeze those knees together. Tap the toes down. We're going to press the floor away and come into a little ball. Lift the hips up off of the floor and tap the toes. Beautiful. So you're creating that little piked ball position up above your head and then tapping the toes down. Beautiful. Squeeze in, lift up. This looks a lot easier than it actually is, right? So keep those knees all the way together. Press the hands into the ground. That's going to help you a lot. But I love this one because it gets really deep into the lower core muscles, which are sometimes difficult to activate. But keep going and come out of it. Beautiful. We're going to reach the legs up towards the sky and then we're going to touch our toes. So we're, I'm crisscrossing over. So opposite hand to foot. Keep the shoulders up off of the mat the entire time. Keep those shoulders up. See if you can lift your shoulders up even a little bit more off of the mat. Let's go. All right. And rest beautiful we're almost there we're getting so close here now we're going to extend the legs reach and pull it in reach and in now keep the head up as much as you can but if you get tired you can always bring the head back down nice so i'm just extending the arms and legs together in the same direction reach and in pressing the belly button to the spine squeezing the inner thighs together point your toes reach and in all right and rest take a big deep breath in here good we're almost there we're going to extend the legs and hold hold here you've got this squeeze those ankles together use that core muscle and relax take a big deep breath in and let's do that again 
Extend the legs, reach the arms, hold, let's go. Maybe you can lower the legs just a little bit. You are so strong, you've got this. I know you can do it. And release, beautiful work. One last time, here we go, extend the legs out, hold, hold, press the belly button in, reach those toes out. Reach, 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 keep holding, you're so strong, and release. I know that one is so tough, but it's so good for getting such a strong core. Okay, let's take a quick little stretch here, press the hands down into the floor, and take an upward facing dog. I'm so proud of you, and make sure that you check in with me by posting a sweaty selfie, tagging Stretchy Fit app, and hashtag Stretchy Babe. Great, great job. I'm so proud of you for showing up on your mat today. Remember, you can include this workout as part of your regular routine, or you can join the rest of us Stretchy Babes by following a 30-day calendar inside of my Stretchy Fit app. Join my app for free today. I left the link below in the description box so that you can check that out. And then as always, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe and support my channel, and leave comments below. Let me know what was your favorite move of this workout, and I will see you in the next video. Love you so much. Bye.